What's up everybody, this is Zach Hample back at T-Mobile Park in Seattle. This is the 18th Major League Baseball Stadium that I've been to this season, and it's day two of the Edgar Martinez Hall of Fame Celebration Weekend. This is probably the biggest day of the weekend. The huge pregame ceremony is happening today. They're using commemorative baseballs, there's a giveaway, massive line as you can see over my shoulder that stretches halfway down the block. I've heard that Edgar's actual Hall of Fame plaque is in the stadium today. Looking forward to tracking that down, hopefully seeing it up close. Other than that, the gates are opening three hours before first pitch for season ticket holders. My good friend Todd and his kids are season ticket holders. They're gonna help me get inside early. We'll get them in the video later. So much stuff is happening here. Ready for it? Here we go. Nice and empty right now. This area is pretty good when there's no one here. Mariners batting practice today was great and getting inside an extra half an hour early made a huge difference. Yesterday I was struggling to get toss ups to get anything directly off the bat but today I got a whole bunch of baseballs early on in a variety of ways starting with an usher in the right field corner and yes I count baseballs from stadium employees. There were balls that were deflected, balls on the fly, ran over to right center and found one that had just landed there when the place was totally empty and then right at the end of Mariners BP. I noticed a ball in the bullpen. I used my glove trick to reel that one in. So six baseballs. Unfortunately, I just noticed that the batting cage was rolled away. They've taken down all the screens. The Rays are not going to hit. That's what happens when you come to Edgar Martinez Hall of Fame celebration weekend. They got to shut things down early to get that ceremony set up. So for now, I see that the Rays are playing catch down the left field line. I think that's the place to be. Let's head that way, get close to the players, maybe get another baseball.
out there in right center. Yeah. Okay. The Tampa Bay Rays, once again today, are proving to be a great team to see on the road. Unfortunately, like I mentioned, they did not take batting practice, but nice to see a bunch of the players up close playing catch and taking a full infield practice. When they were done warming up, they tossed a whole bunch of balls into the crowd. I didn't get any of them, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Right now, the Edgar ceremony is about to begin. The ground crew has been getting the field ready. They're bringing out all the chairs, the banners. So I want to get closer and see what it's all about. Let's go. Awesome stuff right there for Edgar, including appearances from several of his former teammates. The guy who got the biggest ovation was Ken Griffey Jr. Alvin Davis was also in the house, along with several NFL Hall of Famers from the Seahawks. Edgar's Hall of Fame plaque was out on the field. Hopefully it's now on display where fans can see it. The game right now is underway and in the second inning, it's scoreless. I'm going to hang here for a little bit longer on the first base side by the Mariners dugout, then go wander around and check out some more stuff. That one bounced off the dugout roof about a dozen rows back. If I'd been one staircase over, I would have had a play on it. Outstanding job by the Mariners and the Hall of Fame to have that plaque on display. Of course, there's a massive line of fans waiting to take photos with it, and why not? That's a huge piece of baseball history right here. Now, after paying my respects to the plaque, I decided to head all the way upstairs pretty much to the farthest spot from home plate that you can possibly go in the stadium. Along the way, from the concourse in the second deck above the left field bullpens, I got a great look at the party deck down below, which is always totally packed. Then I headed up one final set of stairs to somewhat of a secret walkway behind the seats in deep right center. This area is located just below and behind the jumbotron, and the overhang of the retractable roof is directly up above, with a whole bunch of train tracks just beyond the perimeter of the stadium. It's a really cool spot that you should definitely check out when you're here at T-Mobile Park. For right now, I'm up in this spot with some very important people that I have to introduce. Earlier in this video, I mentioned that a good friend of mine here helped me get in early with the season ticket holders. This is the dude right here. His name is Todd Cook, and along with his two sons, Tim and Callan, they have a YouTube channel that you should definitely check out. They do a whole lot of cool baseball stuff, and what else? 
Well, we go to a lot of baseball games. We've been to every major league stadium. We do a lot of youth baseball, youth sports, a lot of mountain biking, and a little bit of woodworking. Now that is a nice variety of stuff. So check the description for this video. I'll throw a link there that'll take you to their channel. Show them some love, subscribe to them. And this guy right here is their good friend, Solly. Right now it's the seventh inning. The Rays are on top five to four. And Chris, behind the camera, do a little 180 and show everybody the view from this spot. We have a final here at T-Mobile Park, and for the second straight night, the Rays have defeated the Mariners, this time by the score of 5-4. to All-star Charlie Morton got the start for Tampa Bay and picked up the win to improve to 13-4 with a 2.90 ERA. This team is looking sharp. They're on the cusp of a wild card berth, and I do love underdogs, so hopefully they can hang on and sneak into the playoffs. And as for me, I got six baseballs today all early on from the Mariners batting practice including the ones I gave away. That brings my lifetime total to 10,981, just 19 balls away from 11,000. Can't wait for that. Yesterday here, they gave away Edgar Martinez Hall of Fame bobbleheads. Today, it's the Edgar Martinez Hall of Fame replica plaque. But you know what this is not as cool as? Seeing the actual plaque in person with my own two eyes. Now, we will be back for one more game tomorrow. It's a day game, probably no BP, so I'll be focusing on some toss-ups. One last thing for right now. This shirt, I've had it forever. I want you guys to leave a comment and guess what this stands for. I'll be reading the comments. I want to see the funniest, most creative guesses. Other than that, I'm out of here. They're about to close this place down. Thank you guys for watching.